Hi, Alice here, and in this video we'll be exploring the statement of retained earnings. First, let's remind ourselves of the proper order of the financial statements. The income statement comes first. The net income, or net loss if expenses are greater than revenues, is a measure of a business's performance. We covered the single step income statement in our last video. After the income statement, businesses following ASPE must prepare a statement of retained earnings. This statement reports how profits and dividends have affected equity. It is used because the majority of changes in equity are due to the generation and distribution of earnings. Information from this statement helps stakeholders assess a business's use of profit, how much is retained by the business for future growth, and how much is distributed to the shareholders. In order to understand the statement of retained earnings, we must first understand what makes up the element equity. Equity is a difficult concept to grasp, so we're going to keep it simple right now. Equity is equal to wealth that is due to the owners of the business, and it is made up of two items. First, equity is the capital provided by the owners. It represents the amount of cash, goods, or services a business receives from the owners in exchange for the business's shares. For instance, if you start a business with $20,000 of your own cash, then you have $20,000 of capital in the business, which would be recorded as equity. Owner's capital is also called share capital or contributed capital. These terms are all interchangeable. Second, equity is the earnings that the business generates and keeps in the business. For instance, if the business has net income of $10,000 during the year, then the equity would go up by $10,000. If a portion of that net income was paid out to the owners in the form of dividends, then equity would go up by the amount of net income less the amount of dividends. Dividends are the profit which a business chooses to pay out to the owners of the business. For example, if a business had net income of $10,000 but paid out dividends of $2,000, then equity would increase by $8,000, which are the earnings that the business has kept. This is called retained earnings, meaning the profit or earnings kept or retained in the business. So, to summarize, equity is the capital invested by the owners plus the net income less dividends retained by the business. Equity is owed to the owners of the business by the business. Equity, capital plus retained earnings owed to the owners. The statement of retained earnings focuses on how the retained earnings component of equity is determined. Let's take a look at the structure of this statement. As always, the statement starts with the heading, which must include the company name, the title of the financial statement, and, similar to the income statement, the time period covered. The body of the statement always starts with the beginning or opening balance of retained earnings. This balance is always the closing or ending balance from the prior year's statement of retained earnings. In this case, the net income from all prior years less the dividends paid out in all prior years is equal to 92400 Next, the net income from the income statement is added to the beginning balance. If the company had a net loss, it would reduce the prior year's retained earnings balance. In this case, we have net income, so we would add $17,100 to the opening balance of $92,400. This results in a subtotal of $109,500. Next, we deduct the dividends declared or paid to the owners. Dividends are a distribution of wealth to the owners by the business. Remember that the wealth of the business is owed to the owners, and dividends therefore reduce retained earnings and, by extension, equity. The total at the bottom of the statement is the ending retained earnings, the amount that will be transferred to the equity section of the balance sheet. Pretty simple statement, but important to understand. Let's just summarize what we learned. The opening balance for the retained earnings comes from the prior year's statement of retained earnings. Net income comes from the bottom of the income statement. Dividends are what has been either declared or paid to the owners of the business, also called shareholders. The ending balance is the amount that will be carried to the equity section of the balance sheet. This amount will become the opening balance at the top of the statement of retained earnings next year. Pause the video to answer the check your understanding question. What would be the business's ending retained earnings given the amounts provided? A is incorrect. You remembered the opening balance, revenues and expenses, but you forgot to deduct the dividends. C is incorrect because it includes the contribution by owners, which is part of equity but not part of retained earnings. D is incorrect because you deducted expenses but you added in the dividends when you should have subtracted them. B is the correct answer because it includes only the opening retained earnings plus the revenue less the expenses and less the dividends paid. How do stakeholders use the statement of retained earnings? Investors use information about retained earnings to predict future dividend payments. They also use it to see if the company is retaining enough of their net income for future expansion. Lenders use it to determine if dividend payouts are appropriate and leave enough cash for debt repayment. 
Other creditors use retained earnings information to see if the earnings are being invested back into the company's future. As you already know, the statement of retained earnings is connected to the equity section of the balance sheet, which is the topic of our next video.